This arrived in my home, oh, about a year before I started writing um, Wishes Fulfilled, and it's called the I Am Discourses. The I Am Discourses are, I think, one of the great spiritual texts on the planet today. You can pick it up, especially volume three. Um, it's published by uh, the St. Germain Press. St. Germain is, um, I believe, because I'm a student of Yogananda and uh, Sri Yukteswar, his, his uh, teacher, uh, who was born on the same day I was in only 1855 instead of 1940, like me. Um, and they speak about this saint that is capable, who always keeps a young body. His name is Babaji. How many have heard the name Babaji? Yeah, this is an audience. I don't have to ask that. Saint Germain is Babaji, in my opinion. This is someone who shows up in a young body. And when you read um, Ascended Masses Training, The Unveiled Mysteries, and The Magic Presence, and The I Am Discourses, which I have read all of them and studied them before I actually channeled Wishes Fulfilled. Um, but let me just share with you just something here at the very beginning of it. Life, in all its activities, everywhere manifest, is God in action. Remember what I said earlier, the life in your body is weightless and it is God. It is what you originated from, it is what you will return to. It is where my mom is right now. And it is only through lack of the understanding of applied thought and feeling that mankind is constantly interrupting the pure flow of that perfect essence of life which would, without interference, naturally express its perfection everywhere. Saint Germain has come to me. I, have, I feel as if I have spoken to him. And one of the things that I know from Saint Germain, from Babaji, is that it's only one in a million people who spend any amount of their time giving thanks to the I am presence that is your very essence, your being. Not giving thanks for all of the bounty that you have in your life and for your health and for all of the nice things, but to be in a state of gratitude for the awareness that who you are is this divine essence, this divine being. And when I do the meditation, one of the things that I say is, uh, I am in a state of continuous gratitude for the I am presence that speaks through my mouth and through my body and through my writing and so on. It's staying in constant contact with the awareness that there is something divine that is what I am. And every time I use this word, I am. The natural tendency of life is love, peace, beauty, harmony, and opulence. This, by the way, is what Lao Tzu said as well. For life cares not who uses it, but is constantly ur surging to, your <clears throat> to pour more of its perfection into manifestation, always with that lifting process which is ever inherent within itself. I am is the activity of that life. How strange it is that students with sincere interest do not seem to get the true meaning of those two words. When you say and feel, I am, you release the spring of eternal everlasting life to flow on its way unmolested. In other words, you open wide the door of its natural flow. When you say, I am not, you shut the door in the face of this mighty energy. I often tell my audiences, God didn't say when Moses asked, what is your name and who shall I say sent me? He didn't say, my name is, I hope things work out for you. <laughs> <laughs> he said, my name is, I am that I am. That meaning, when he says, I am that, that was Nisargadatta's great autobiography, or biography, and a book that I have studied for 30 years now. And he was known as the I am guru in India. And this, these two words, I am, have so much power within them. I am is the full activity of God. Having placed before you so often the truth of God in action, I wish you to understand its first expression in individualization, in you. All right? 
The first expression of every individual everywhere in the universe, either spoken word, silent thought, or feeling is, I am, recognizing its own conquering divinity. The student, endeavoring to understand and apply these mighty yet simple laws, must stand guard more strictly over his thoughts and expression in word or otherwise. For every time you say, I am not, I cannot, I have not, you are, whether knowingly or unknowingly, throttling that great presence within you. When you use the words I am, you are, you are, you are in union, you are in yoga with God. So when I do my yoga practice, and there's certain of these uh, postures that are in asanas that I have a little more difficulty with others, especially balancing ones and so on, I, I, before I start the asana, my inner meditation is, I am well balanced. I am perfect balance. I can do this. I am perfect balance. And as I do this, I begin to see that I am speaking to this body.